Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to do green screen effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to quickly show you the real, real basics of how to do chroma key in Adobe Premiere. Now, whether you want to do it to simulate a, uh, a small explosion, or maybe you want to uh, have the world at your fingertips. There's various ways you can do it in Adobe Premiere, and I'm going to show you how to use the ultra key effect to add a little bit of special effects to your video promotions and productions. So let's go over to the PC and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so I've assembled some uh, bits and pieces on my timeline, and this is the intro that you've just actually watched, as you may as well recognize. And so there we go, there's me. A small explosion. Without an explosion. And there, without the world in my hands. So what we need to do is to add some footage. Now you can download this footage from uh, all sorts of places on the internet. I would really recommend going to obviously copyright free places such as Pixabay, that kind of thing, but you can get your images from pretty much wherever you want. Or alternatively, you can make it your own if you uh, feel that way inclined. Anyway, so we need the explosion first of all. So here's my explosion. So let's stick that on the timeline there. And it's a little bit of a long explosion for the time that we've got there. So first of all, let's uh, speed things up a little bit. So that's 200%. And now what we need to do is to line up the actual piece of footage with my hand, because I'm supposed to have the footage in my hand. So actually, first of all, probably a good idea if we get rid of the green. So let's go into the effects browser. And if you type in ultra, as you can see, I've already got there, and you want to choose ultra key, and just left click, drag it, and drop it on your bit of footage. And then up in the menu over here, we've got the key color under ultra key. Now all we do is pick the pen dropper and select a green area. Now pretty much all of this green is relatively the same, so we can pick pretty much any area. And there we go, there's the green gone. Now you can actually play around with this a little bit more. You can actually use some of the matte cleanup. So you can use these, you can mess around with the sliders to try and trim away some of the green. Let's see what we can do. Try and make it as nice as possible. You can soften it slightly or a lot. Add some contrast and select your midpoints. You can play around with that a little bit. So that's, that's not looking too bad. So now what we want to do is to put that in my hand. So using the position control, let's raise it up a little bit. Take it across. Now the actual explosion is a little bit bigger than my hand, so let's use the scale control and let's scale it down a little bit. And maybe we can get that to fit in the palm of my hand quite nicely. There, it's not entirely perfect, but uh, you get the general idea. A small explosion, or maybe you want to. Uh... <laughs> so there, that's uh, that's pretty cheesy. So let's move on to the next one. So the next one is the world in my hands. Oops. Now, unfortunately, I moved my hand around a little bit there, so this isn't going to be the easiest of things. So let's start there where I've got just after the uh, the break there. So if we go back to our project and then choose our world spin and throw it on the timeline. And first of all, that's way too big. So let's get rid of some of the uh, let's get rid of some of the green. So back to our effects browser, ultra key, click and drag, and bosh. And we get our key colors, so we can choose our pen dropper again. And again, pretty much all the green is the same color, so we can select anywhere, and there we go. There is the world. So now we need to do is to scale that to fit in my hand properly. That looks about right. And move with the position tool and get it to line up. Now we haven't really got any green edges or anything on there, so we can pretty much get away with that. So let's see how that looks. Fingertips. Now with that, there was actually some background music. So let's uh, unlink that. So unlink 
highlight the music and delete, get rid of that. And there we go. There is the cheesy world spinning in my hand. And I'm going to show you how to use the alt. So that is pretty much it. That is how to use the ultra key effect in Adobe Premiere. So there you go. There is the ultra key effect in Adobe Premiere. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to stick them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and give it a big thumbs up. Like all of these big thumbs up. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.